The Hub founders started the business thinking there were gaps in the market where institutions had stopped investing in their own platforms and they were the dominant force in our industry. But also they saw a gap in the managed portfolios. They thought they were superior to managed funds would deliver clients better outcomes. And so they really pushed hard into that, uh, that initiative. I think there's been a world we've all lived in where platforms and financial services hasn't quite hit the mark. Products and the services have been designed around the manufacturer. Whereas in our world, we've had to take the customer and the advisor to heart and really build something from the middle out that actually delivers outcomes and delivers a great service where it's not frustrating to do your job. It's really easy, you can get on with business. It's always hard when you're entering the market with a different type of product or a new approach to product to get customers to come along the journey. But ultimately with Hub, it was such a quality build and there were such obvious benefits for clients and the advisors that uh, adoption ultimately, in hindsight, was far quicker than uh, it maybe otherwise would have been. Lucky enough to start with Hub back in August 2009. I think there were nine employees when I started. So there was, you know, I probably suppose a leap of faith when I uh, started back then. Looking back, I'm super glad I did. I do vividly recall my first day at Hub24. It was in a very little office uh, space, so the meet and greets uh, with a dozen or so staff that were there and it only took about five minutes. When I joined Hub24 in 2012, we just launched our purpose-built managed account IDPS platform and we're about to roll out our super intention product that we have today. We had 80 mil on the platform and really no brand awareness and advisors just simply did not know who we were. And they really questioned if we would survive. FOFA was a fascinating time in this industry. What was really good for Hub24 is Hub started with a clean sheet of paper. Hub didn't live in a world where we relied on product subsidies or rebates and so forth. So we already had the future model in the business. We were able to operate really readily and have uh, great products in the marketplace that didn't rely on fees going to uh, licensees. We constantly have our finger on the pulse. Our purpose here at Hub24 is to ensure that we connect our customers with innovative solutions that help deliver the best outcomes. Innovation is something that we try to turn our dreams into reality. And then disruption is a list of innovations that at some point it will change the way um, the market or the industry uh, behave. Hub24's original vision was to be the leading managed accounts platform and I would say that we've achieved that. In fact, no one could have imagined how far Hub would have come in this time frame. As we got, um, became profitable, I think that was one of the, the key indicators where as a listed company, um, returning a profit for the company, I think that gave them that confidence that we're going to be there for a long time. One of my best moments at Hub24 was the end of financial year party in 2017 when we launched our new brand look and feel and our very first brand campaign to the market. We've helped advisory firms that have broken away from the institutions and making available a broad, open architecture of investment, cash and insurance solutions.
We know that there are many challenges in the delivery of advice that we can use our unique data and technology solutions to help solve. We've been known for innovation and depth of product capability for a long time and for a long time in the market we've also held the mantle as the best managed portfolios functionality. Over time we've increased that commitment to customer service excellence and now we're known as the best platform in the market. When you reach number one, the real challenge that, that you've got is where do you go next, right? And, and I don't think you can ever rest on your laurels. How do you constantly challenge yourself? You go look globally, like, because nothing stays the same. So if we're looking ahead, we're thinking ahead, we'll always be challenging what the customer wants, not what our competitors have done or been doing. I think it is absolutely critical that Hub24 continues to be a leader and a champion of choice within the industry. It is why people come to us and it's why people value us. It's what sets us apart from the rest of the industry. We've achieved a lot, but if you ask anyone in this business, we're not done yet. We're still really focused on enhancing our platform solution and providing customer service excellence. Imagine a landscape where an advisor can focus on their client outcomes uh, and focus on their client's needs and really hit the spot there uh, with all the tools and all the support processes just working for them with the, the data and the platforms and the systems integrating seamlessly so they really can focus on their core promise to their customers. When you think about our industry and you think about what we're trying to do by helping people retire in comfort and achieve their goals and they need advice. If we don't deliver on that and that advocacy for advisors and advice, then we miss the mark. So when you want to make a difference and you know what it means to make a difference in somebody's life and you're not here just to sell product but you're here to achieve an outcome, that drives advocacy.